game card fight vanguard fans i'm jeff of the game capital and the game capital.com today we're going to take a look at the contents of a pizza box aka a sneak preview kit of the newest card fight vanguard set aerial steed liberation which is booster pack number five that is what the playmat inside looks like and there's all the packs we're gonna open up and show you guys and clean the promo let's get to the spot where the opening all goes down and just like that, we are whisked to our opening station. So here is the participation promo. Lake Maiden Leon is a Royal Paladin Grade 1, 10k shield, 7,000 power. When placed, Soul Blast 1, draw a card, and discard a card from your hand. Very beautiful art on that card. I'm not sure how viable it is playability-wise. Usually the CP promos don't really see play, but it's a nice looking card to say the least. Now we've got 8 players of support of 4 packs each. And then seven prize packs. Usually find something particularly shiny <clears throat> within the prize packs. We'll see if this set is any different or uh, if it's par for the course regarding that. So we'll open up one bundle at a time here. Try to make sure all the cards, you know, at the bottom I don't cut any. Because I'm just going to snip over the tops. As that seems to be the most efficient thing. Most efficient way for me to get through these packs. Alright. So I'll say all the card in the first few packs. First bundle or two. And then we'll just kind of skip to the good stuff. So we got... Turning Bash Dragon, Engage Griffin, Stealth Beast Mohogaro, Medical Kid, Sphere Magus, so a lot of triggery prints again, kind of common for sets these days it seems, Stealth Dragon Kokujo, and Dragon Dancer Rai Rai, Double Rare of Naru Kami, a flexible Double Rare it would appear. Filled Feather Dragon, Brilliant Witch Popo, Turning Bass Dragon, oh, a duplicate already, Fortune Bell, Greeting Drummer, Convoy Angel, Convoy Angel, and Pure Bright Unicorn of Royal Paladin. Ravioli Magus, ooh, Ravioli, Stealth Beast Mohogaro, Desert Gunner Duran, Duran Duran, Miracle Kid, Sphere Magus, so same pair of triggers as in the first pack here. Ceremonial Bonfire Eradicator Caster. And Triple Rare of Nubitama, Stealth Beast Tamahagane. It's a fun name to say. It's a pretty sweet looking unit there as well, I must say. Uh, take a closer look here one sec. So grade 2 with 5,000 shield, 9,000 power. When placed, Soul Blast 1. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and return it to hand. If it was returned, your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand and discards it. And if your opponent's hand has four or less cards, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. So it can be a 14,000 beater in the front there uh, when you're on the aggressive. And last pack of the first bundle, Dragon Monk Egan, Lime Witch Ray Ray, Dragon Knight Zabir, Psychic Bird, Battle Sister Ginger, Convoy Angel, and Pure Bright Unicorn. I think we got those same two rares in the second pack. So some some kind of annoying duplication again here of sorts. Uh, kind of remind me of some booster boxes we opened recently where we had some basically cloned booster boxes. But it is what it is. It is what it is. All the card games have some kind of issue with collation and the ordering of cards and packs at times. But I don't know. It is what it is. Filled Feather Dragon, Panay Magus, Desert Gunner Duran, Solid Chound Wizard, Worm Toxin Eradicator, is that an I? Sai, Saiobo, sure. That might be a new trigger, actually. Uh, Fusilli Magus, she's so silly. And Indestructible Knight, Irina, Irina, Irina. Words are hard, but we do the best we can. Beret Draco Kid, Brilliant Witch Popo, Stealth Beast Arakura Gitsune. So yeah, I think there's a unit like this in EBO8 as well. So it's a great one, only 3,000 power, but it has two critical. I don't think that ever happened before, possibly the most recent set or two before this, but they have started to introduce some critical two units. So pretty interesting. We got Old Dragon Mage. Exorcist Mage Linlin. Interesting art. 
We've got Stealth Dragon, Kokujuyo, and a triple rare, Goddess of the Half Moon, Sukiyomi. She looks looking a lot more intense these days there, my goodness. We first saw the Sukiyomi ride chain uh, back in the original BT-03. I'm blanking the set name offhand, but definitely looks a little different now. Uh, so yeah, there's the Half Moon Sukiyomi, and I think there one's Full Moon for the Grade 3. I could be wrong. Uh, but let's see. At the beginning of your ride phase, look at five cards at the top of your deck. That sounds familiar. Put one card from among them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order, and discard a card from your hand. If you discard Goddess of the Full Moon Sukiyomi, ride it as um, standing, and you cannot ride this turn. During the battle that it attacked the Vanguard, if Goddess of the Crescent Moon Sukiyomi is in your soul, this unit gets plus 3,000. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but have we had ride chains yet in the V era standard? I'm not sure that we have, actually. So, this might be the first, or at least one of them in the set, perhaps, uh, ride chains that we were getting. So, pretty interesting. And back then as well, both the grade 2 and grade 3 were triple rares then, and looking like they probably will be now as well. So, very interesting, very interesting. Another Ravioli Magus, Dragon Dancer, no, I'm sure. Leading Angel, Greeting Drummer, Spark Edge Draco Kid, Pure Bright Unicorn, and Battle Sister Macaron. I correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the uh, first printing of Battle Sister Macaron a promo, like back in the original era? It sounds familiar, and I think it was a promo back in the day. Again, I could be mistaken. If you know definitively, feel free to let us all know in the comments. It'd be much appreciated. We got Stealth Beast Mohogaro, probably saying it wrong, Desert Gunner Duran, Blat Arrow Dragon. Sure. Thought it was Blast, but no. Knight of Exhortation Sinigils. Sinigils. Fortune Bell. Ceremonial Bonfire Eradicator Caster. And Convoy Angel. It's our third Convoy Angel. We got three unicorns, too. All right, so that's two bundles down. So now we'll kind of kind of blast through the commons, if not skip them entirely. We should have seen most of them by now. Maybe missed a couple of uh, reprint triggers. I don't know about anything else, but I'll just try to... I won't say all the names anymore, at least. Just give you a quick blast look there at what else is in there. And get to the best stuff here, like Evil Eye Princess Uriel. I think I remember her from back in the day as well. Oracle Think Tank Grade 3. That's a double rare. She doesn't need to sleep right now. Uh, so yeah, let's give you a quick look there at what she does. And we'll continue right along. I'm trying just to read the triple rares and higher anyway for the first run through of a new set here. I might have a sneeze coming. My apologies in advance if I do. Couple of regular rails. No VRs yet. Just yet. Rare white hair of Inaba. Inaba. Remember that as well from back in the day. And Great Sage Baron. Royal Paladin Grade 2. Quick close-up. Looking into that for the first couple, but... Have a drink too, young one. Well, that sounds illegal, but... You do you, Great Sage. Do, 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 do. Dragon Dancer, Elusia, and Dangerous Knight, Hengist. These words are hard. So, nothing too special in that bundle. Uh, a couple of double rares, all we got for foils in bundle number three. All right, so we're almost halfway through the uh, four-pack bundles. Make sure all the cards are settled to the bottom. I don't want to cut anything extra shiny, especially. And we'll keep on going here. Do to do. Oh, there's something shiny. How shiny is it? It is triple rare shiny. Stronghold of the Black Chains. Chains Hoel. A gold paladin grade one. 10,000 shield. 8,000 power. Continuous rearguard ability. Your other unit in the same column as this unit that was placed this turn gets plus 5,000. If advance of the Black Chains Kahidin, Kahidin is on your vanguard or rearguard, it gets plus 10,000 instead of plus 5,000. So, let's see. Yeah, so it tends to be front row. So, say so you've got a 10K in the front row. You're 18. If you've got that unit on vanguard or rear, it's a plus 28,000 row at that point. So, not too shabby, I suppose. All right, got another double rare. Single rare as well, of course. We've got Supreme Army Eradicator Zoitan. That's a pretty cool looking card. 
very beefed up, a little bit like Shredder with all the spikes and stuff, but a couple of nice, nice big swords, riding an awesome red horned dragon there. That looks pretty sweet. And there's a quick close look at what it does. A brave wind blows. And so a pair of hits there in the first two packs of this bundle. And then a pair of regular rares, kind of expected that. Maybe in this pack as well. Nope, another double rare. All right, all right. We'll take that, we'll take that. Diviner Angel and Stealth Fiend. Oh boy. Sumuji Basho. Sure, close enough. Close enough. Don't know who it'd be, but I'm gonna blow them away. Alrighty, so we're halfway through the four pack bundles. So we got four four pack bundles left. And then we got these seven packs of prize packs as well. And we'll just keep on shugging right along here, kind of faster and faster. Okay, now we're getting shiny. Now we're getting shiny. What is this? Let's triple rare again. There's just a lot of shine to it. So actually, the grade one of the ride chain is also a triple rare. Okay, so I'm going to guess that the grade three is a VR then. I sure already know this, but oh well. So, Gods of the Crescent Moon Tsukiyomi, when it's the Vanguard, at the beginning of your ride phase, if Godhawk Ichibiyoshi is in your soul, look at five cards at the top of your deck, put one card from one of them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order, and discard a card from your hand. If you discard a Goddess of the Half Moon Tsukiyomi, ride it as standing, and you cannot ride this turn. So, there you go. Yeah, that is a very shiny background. I did not think that was triple rare, because they're just... So much shine happening there. So is that really a background? It's The background is shine. It looks really cool, though. I like it. I like it. And then we got Double Rare, Maiden of Libra. Was she in BTO1 back in the day? I think that was a BTO1 card. Back. Way back. In the olden days. Back in my days. We had to walk 15 miles each way to school in the blizzard in the two-foot deep snow. And yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm going with that. And a uh, pair of rares. All right. So that was a, a decent bundle there with a, another trip rare and a double rare. But yeah, like I said, going, going faster and faster than the reading of the higher end stuff. But still, we have not found any Vanguard rares or higher. That's got to change in this bundle, I feel. We might have a VR in each of these bundles and at least one over here too. Like, usually we get one of each VR in these pizza boxes, but there are five VRs in this set. So you think we would have found one by now. But we haven't. And how many triple rares are there? There is eight. And we've gotten four triple rares so far. Something's got to give. Something has got to give. Double rare, Soul Guiding Elf. Was there 12 double rares? Yep, 12 double rares. 17 rares, but we got so many duplicates so early on. That's what we didn't see in the early going, but seen a few times since. Jin of 100 Thunderclaps. It's Will Smith, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Could be. Pair of rares? Come on, where, where's, where's the high-end stuff at now? Don't let us down, pizza. Pizza box. Do, do. Okay. Oh. There's, there's extra, extra texture on this one. Okay. Vanguard rare. Eradicator. Gauntlet Buster Dragon. The Narukami VR. Give you a close look at this one here. Do your turn. This year gets plus 5,000 and plus one critical for each of your opponent's open front row rear guard circles. Uh, question for uh, the judges or whatever out there. If you're facing an Excel clan and they've got the Excel circles in the front row and those are vacant, does that make this guy even more powerful? So say they've got two Excel circles and you get rid of their entire front row. Would they have four open front row circles for plus 20,000 power and plus four critical? Because that gets kind of nutty. And if so, I think you want to face Excel at that point. Well, this this is Excel as well, but yeah, that's that's interesting. I don't know. I, I should know, but I don't. So please, if you know, let me in the comments below. And then you can counterplast one and this card card from your hand and bind all of your opponent's front row rear guards. You may move all of your opponent's back row rear guards to a rear guard uh, in the same column. All righty. That guy's got a little bit going on right there, I must say. I must say. And in the very next pack, we get another triple rare. That is Knight of the Harp, Tristan. 
Let's see. Okay, I got some extra sleeves off to the side here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Because I was almost out of sleeves and I wasn't seeing another pack, but those are kind of dirty sleeves. Um, okay, I got another pack under the scissors here. We're good. We're good. We got this. We got this. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we've got our first VR and our fifth triple rare. And uh, what it does here, when place your Vanguard is grade three or greater, kind of blast one, search your deck for up to one blaster blade, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. It's a grade one, works on the rear guard. Not too shabby, so you can definitely find your blaster blade support. I can definitely see that card uh, seeing play for any blaster blade based builds for sure. From the little I know about the competitive play right now, like, he hasn't been opening a lot of this, but I've not had a chance to play any at all. Um, once Spike Brothers gets more support, as that is my main clan, I'll hopefully get some more games in as well. But I, I'm, I'm, gotta admit, I am a bit of a novice right now when it comes to uh, the current metas and such. So, my apologies for my ignorance. Double Rare Thunder Break Dragon. I think that was in a trial deck originally way back in the day. In like, what, trial deck six, I want to say? Trial deck five or six, maybe? All right, so that, that's the grade zero of the ride chain, by the way. Minoru Pond, draw a card. Got Hawk, Ichibi Yoshi. And we got ourselves another triple rare. Advance of the black change, Kahidin. So that's the one that goes with the other gold paladin triple rare we got earlier. Where if they're in the same row or... Now, if this is on the field when that grade one is out there, gives it some extra power. Uh, when placed, kind of blast one, discard a card from hand. Look at three cards from the top of your deck. Call one card from among them to rear guard. Shuffle your deck. And if Stronghold of the Black Change Hoel is on your vanguard or rear guard, draw a card. So they both complement each other with an added extra ability if they are both present on the field. So definitely prefer they both be on the field at the same time when you're utilizing their abilities. Dun 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 dun. dun. And we got a double rare, which is Stealth Rogue of Reckless Action Suo. Well, let's go with Suo. Which is actually one of the characters' names uh, in Beyblade Burst uh, Season 3. So, Beyblade Burst Turbo. Yes. Probably not spelled the same, might not be pronounced the same, but that's what I'm going off of. And I'm going to guess we get another VR in this bundle because we still only have one VR and that doesn't feel right. It feels bad, actually. It feels real bad. Double Rare Powerful Sage Byron. Quick peek there. There you go. There's what he does. And we'll keep on moving because. These always take longer than I want them to, but I want to give you guys a good enough, in-depth enough look of the new cards as well. Double Rare, Shura, Stealth, Dragon, Tendo, Congo. But we want more VRs, and or SVRs, or SPs, or whatever the high rarity ones are in this set. All right, last pack of the bundles here. My goodness. All right. I think that's a VR. I think it's a VR. We got Solitary Knight. Gansalot VR. All of the Blaster Blade on your Vanguard or Rear Guard circles get plus 10,000 power. Only if you use your Vanguard, though. And also if you use your Vanguard during your turn. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, your front row circles with Blaster Blade on them become Vanguards. Ooh. So, you can't have extra front row, as it's a Force Clan, but... You can have three vanguards, essentially, that perform drive checks. As long as they have Blaster Blade in the name. So, I, I should know this, if there's a Blaster Blade Grade 3 or not. But, if you have Grade 2 Blaster Blades in your front row, you're still going to hit four drive checks per turn. Which seems pretty darn sick. And those Blaster Blades will have plus 10,000 power as well. So, that gets pretty strong sounding. Alright, we're at two vanguard rares. We've got prize packs left. Are we going to get two Vanguard Rares or better within these, at least? Because I mean, we usually get... In our uh, EB08 pizza box, we had four VRs. One of each with two of the Maelstrom. We'll see. So, we're expecting two VRs or SVRs between these seven packs, essentially. I think. I think. I hope. Because two VRs would be a sad, sad day. We'll find out soon here, though. Very soon. Is that triple rare? It is, it is. Knight of Truth Gordon. Triple rare. Royal Paladin. Grade 2. 5k shield. 10k power. During your turn, all the Blaster Blade on your Vanguard or Rear Guard get plus 5,000. If your Blaster Blade is in the same column as this unit, this unit gets boost. So, if I understand that right, 
this grade two can basically act as a grade one unit behind your Vanguard blaster blades. So there's definitely uh, some power to be had here in Royal Paladins looking like. That sounded pretty fun, actually. I'm gonna have to give Royal Paladins a whirl. I don't know. It's sounding pretty strong. I don't know how, well, how it ranks in the tier list, but seems like a lot of power. And there's our first duplicate that's higher than a rare, a double rare Dragon Dancer, Rai Rai. So we got hits in the first two packs of the prize packs. First three packs. Maybe all the prize packs are gonna have a hit. So another duplicate double rare. How many double rares are we up to? Because we got two duplicates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's fourteen different in twelve different in the set. So we've probably got the set plus two duplicates now. Alright. Last three packs. There's gotta be something spicy in these three packs here. There's gonna be something extra spicy. What will it be though? Let's find out here, shall we? Time to slow roll things a little bit, I think. So we've got Dragon Dancer Naomi. Spirit Draco Kid. Gigantic Pulverizer. Exorcist Mage Lin Lin. Worm Toxin Eradicator Saibo. The rare is Dragon Dancer Elusia. And double rare again. Shura Shura Stealth Dragon Tendo Congo. How many triple rares are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're short one triple rare of Nubatama, looks like. Maybe. Well, actually, I don't know if they see we got two Royals, two OTTs, two Golds, one Nubatama. Um Gold Narukami. I'm confused with myself. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I can't think. Lime Witch Ray Ray, Bolt Capture Dragon, Engage Griffin, Spark Edge Draco Kid, Old Dragon Mage, Stealth Dragon Daidoko, and a regular rare. All right, last pack, last chance for glory. We only have two VRs and nothing higher. Um, so this pack has to have a VR or an SVR or an SP or an XVR or a Secret Rare or uh, I don't know what. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. Lilac, Lilac, Witch, BB, Pene Megas, Loading Angel, Bringer of Good Luck, Epina, Future Knight Lou. He was a triple rare back in the day. Decorous Knight, Hengist, and a regular rare, White Hair of Inaba. So that was a thoroughly disappointing pizza box. That did not feel like par for the course at all, any way you shake it. So, Pizza Box has 39 booster packs. A booster box has 16 packs. So basically it's two boxes plus seven packs. And you always get at least one VR per box. We only got two total. Like our, well, I guess it makes sense because they're EB box. EB boxes are 12 packs. So a Pizza Box is three EB boxes plus three packs. So you should get at least three VRs or better. We got four last time. But still, two VRs just does not feel right. Especially with no high rarity ones. Like two VRs and SVR or XVR or anything higher than a VR, even as a bad SP, like, okay. I feel like you should get at least three hits higher than triple rare for Pizza Box. So I don't know if we just had really, really bad luck or if this is par for the course or what, but there's our two VRs. Two of the five different you can get from the set. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the eight different triple rares. So you even get all the different triple rares you can get. And then we got, what was it, 15 double rares with two duplicates? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So yeah, one of each triple rare plus those three duplicates. And I, don't, I think the VRs, was one of the VRs in the prize packs? I don't think it was. I don't know. I'm disappointed personally. Um, if you guys open pizza box, let me know how you do or how you saw things pull out. But uh, I was expecting a little bit more shine from that pizza box, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Hope you all enjoyed all the same. Please subscribe, rock smash that like button. Visit the game capital.com 
for all of your card fight Vanguard and our trading card game needs. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time, whenever and wherever that may be.